Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on the 30th of November, 2022. I want to go over this Mikey Likes It Life Serial. I posted this originally six years ago, and it got 54,000 views, and there were a lot of people that agreed with me, and then there were a lot of people who didn't agree with me. There, there's a lot of people saying things like, well, I remember he likes everything. You know, it was, let's get Mikey. He'll try it. He'll eat anything. Basically, you know, the kids didn't want to try it. They're like, what's this? I don't want to try that. Well, let's get him. He'll he'll, he'll try it. He'll, he'll eat anything. <laughs> we'll get him to try it. That's what it was. I grew up with, in the 80s, kids named Mike. They were known as a kid who would eat anything. I mean, if your name's Mike, you probably know that. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you were known as the kid who hated everything in your household. I don't know. But it's like two different realities have somehow merged. And now you have the people that experienced one reality together with the people who experienced a different reality. I remember he hates everything. It goes with he likes it. Hey, Mikey, why would they say that so surprised? I'm 50. I remember the commercial. My brother's name is Mike. Right? This is his, I understand this is his memory. That's great. I, and you know, the, the commercial supports your memory, but there's people like myself who have a different memory. And I believe our experience is just as real as the people who remember Mikey being a kid who hated everything. I remember it as he won't eat it. He hates everything. I used to say that to my brother all the time, back when the commercial came out, he was experienced a different reality. I don't understand how it has to be a consciousness thing because this is the main reason I want to do the video today. August 23rd, 2000. We go here to newspapers.com. The other is he reminded us of the little kid in the TV commercial who would eat anything. Give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. Hence the name Mikey. There are so many newspapers supporting my life experience, my memory. They're good snakes. They're not slimy or anything, she said. Mikey got his name from the freckle-faced kid in the cereal commercials, the one who gets to try out the new cereal. Give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything, is one of the lines from the commercial. Well, not in this reality. It's currently not one of the lines in the commercial. But all these, all these newspapers thought it was one of the lines in the commercial. There are so many newspapers, even back around the time that the commercial came out. Let's find one more here, and then we'll go. Now, I'm not, nobody's wrong here. I think what it is, is I came out with this little short video, and the comments are coming from people who don't even understand the Mandela effect. I think that's what's going on. But even back six years ago, when I did my original video here, it was kind of split. So... I never felt so much tension and people getting so triggered and angry by me saying that why would they give it to the kid who would eat anything or who liked everything and be so surprised about it? it makes no sense. Well, to me, it makes no sense that two kids who don't want to try something say, oh, let's go get the kid who hates everything. He'll probably eat it. Does, that doesn't make any sense to me. What makes sense is they didn't want to try it. So they said, hey, let's get Mikey. He'll eat anything. He'll try this stuff. Hey, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. I mean, that's that was my reality. That was the world I lived in. <laughs> that was my life experience. And so people who say, well, you're wrong. You know, it when they say uh, he hates everything, you heard hates and you thought it was eats. You misheard it. It was a mishear it was like a misheard lyric in a song. Oh, he hates everything. Hates, eats. Kind of like a, you know, hear what you want type thing that we've been going over the past three, four years. No, it's not a hear what you want. <laughs> it was, he was a kid who would eat anything. I don't know. This is just so crazy. So let me read a few of the comments here. Oh, wait, before I do that, I want to go here and I want to put in, um, let's go back. Let's go back to the 70s. So we'll just look at everything from 75. Well, let's go back to like 82. So we'll look here. What do we got? Give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. 1976. What year did the commercial come out? It probably came out around 71 is my guess. Hey, Google, what year did the Life Serial Mikey commercial come out? According to Wikipedia, the ad was created by art director Bob Gage, who also directed the commercial. It first aired in 1971. All right, got it right. 
Okay, so 1971. So this is five years. It was airing. It aired for 13 years, I think. So it was airing. This was the fifth year that it was on television all the time. I saw it all the time. And in this newspaper, they say, give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. Let's pick another newspaper, a seven, 1978. What do we got here? Don't eat that food. You might not like it. Let Mikey try it. He'll eat anything. I mean, this reality residue here, I, from what I'm seeing right now, it feels like two realities have merged. Whether you want to say it's timelines, whether you want to say it's parallel universes, whether you want to say it's realities, merging. There's some type of merging happening. Now, if we go search newspaper articles where it says, let's get Mikey, he hates everything. You're going to find all those newspapers. I'm not showing you those newspapers. I understand that that's the way it is. It's always been that way. I get it. But it was another way. And this is what the movie is going to focus on. Bob keeps hammering home. It's about the evidence. We're going to be able to show this to people, and they're not going to be able to argue with you. They're going to say, wow, that you've shown so much evidence that something was a different way. There's something weird happening here. So that's the whole point of the documentary that Bob's always wanted to do and that we're finally going to get. Now, I had some people talking about, you know, whether we should waste our time interviewing some of these famous people. They're probably not going to have the memory. It's not going to help. I don't know. I mean... You might be surprised. Maybe we'll get one of these people to open up because they've been seeing so much. They'll just, they'll just open up. So I think it's worth interviewing some of these famous people. Maybe they don't have the memory, but you show them, like Sally Field, you can show her clips of her on David Letterman, and then David saying that, you know, well, they like you. At, at the end of the interview, she said something, and he said, well, they like you. And she says, yeah, they like me. They really like me. I mean, like, she played off. She didn't say, oh, yeah, they like me right now. They like me. I mean, nobody says that like Bob was saying yesterday. No one says, yeah, right now they like me. I mean, <laughs> nobody quotes that correctly. So anyway, I wanted to read a few more of these quotes here. Go ahead and comment down below. I mean, we just go round and round seven years now with this stuff, but it's it's so incredible. And the, and the people, these comments must be from the people that just... I keep replying. I'm like, have you heard of the Mandela effect? It's like, they don't even know. He won't eat it. He hates everything is how I remember it. It's a paraphrase I use all the time referring to my daughter for like 10 years now. And I totally understand that. That that was how you saw the commercial. That's what you remember. He won't eat it. He hates everything. If he liked everything, that wouldn't be much of a taste test. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But the Mandela effect isn't about what's more logical. It's not about what's logical. It's about what people experienced. And half of us seem to have experienced a Mikey who hated everything. So you're going to put him in a commercial as a kid who hates everything in 1971, which seems odd in itself. But that's fine. I understand. That's what we, that's what we get now. But my consciousness experienced a reality where it was, let's get Mikey. He'll eat anything. We don't want to try this. Let's get the kid who will eat anything. He'll try it. And so we'll find out if this stuff's good or not, because we don't want to try it. He'll try it. Let's give it to him. So he tries it, and they're surprised that he likes it, because they wouldn't even try it. <laughs> so it still makes sense, all you people saying it doesn't make sense now. The way I remember makes sense. So let's look at the Jacksons. They do it the way I remember here. Let's get Mike. Yeah. He'll eat anything. Yeah, yeah, he'll eat anything. He'll eat anything. So that was the, that was what I experienced. So let's keep the conversation going down below.